One last time. Let me show you some of the some of the caked on stuff. And it's got to drag this through the slot you're cutting in the tree. So it's working twice as hard to drag all this extra stuff through the tree plus cut it. Already. See you Monday. All right, there's my chain in there. <clears throat> and this video is how to get their stuck resin off your chain. So I got about an inch of water in there and I put two capfuls of household lye. And immediately it turned brown and I'm just gonna shush it a little bit and I'm gonna give this about two hours. And then uh, we'll see if that stuff will come off of there because uh, I have tried everything. Oh, and I heard this from what is his name? Buckin Billy Ray. That's Buckin with a B. Buckin Billy Ray. I think he's in Canada. He's a chainsaw tree cutting guy. And uh, he's the one I got this from. So we'll see if it worked for me. Because I have tried everything else. Alright, we'll be back in a couple hours. Okay, I'm going to shush it again. But let me warn you, this lie, this stuff is dangerous. If you were to get this in your eye, it would blind you. Or at the very least, hurt bad. So, uh... I hear a train. Okay, what a huge difference. Huge difference. So what I did was dump that lye water out over my fence. And, uh... Then I rinsed this off with regular water, just faucet water. And now I'm gonna take this wire brush and try to clean up the last little bit of schmutz that's on it. And then I'm gonna uh, saturate it with oil and put it back on my bar here. I gotta clean that bar out and get this ready to use. Now, as soon as my compressor airs up, I'm gonna blow the water off of this chain. Then I'm gonna soak it down with some uh, WD-40. Put it back on the bar. I'm just gonna use the last of this can here. It's almost out. Alrighty. All right, I'll let that sit for a minute. In the meantime, I'm gonna take my uh, chainsaw bar cleaner that I made from a putty knife and uh, drag all the schmutz out of this groove here then put a little oil down in that groove put this back together and we'll be all set let me just give you a let me just give you a, a, a close-up of the chain here just so you see how much of the stuff that came off I mean it's almost brand new clean I mean it doesn't look brand new but it's almost like uh, as clean as it would be brand new out of the box so I'm really happy with that and now we have discovered the secret. It's not a secret anymore because I'm going to tell everybody I know how to get the schmutz off your chainsaw chain and uh, all the different ways I've tried to doing it. You know, somebody mentioned that maybe I should put it in my uh, tempering oven and heat it up. And, you know, that might have worked. I would be a little bit concerned of uh, removing the temper. I don't know what temperature these were tempered at. You know, these teeth are hardened. 
and I don't know what temperature they were tempered at, and I don't know what at temperature they would lose their temper at. So I would be a little leery of that. Uh, if the lye didn't work, I would have tried that. But the lye works great. I put two capfuls in. Uh, I had about an inch of water in there, and I, over the course of a couple hours, I shushed it back and forth, and I actually did reach my fingers in and flip the chain over and shush it around, and what a difference. I'm uh, completely satisfied that I finally figured out how to get all that stuff off the chain. That's amazing. Alrighty. I'll get this put together and we'll have one final chit chat. And there we go. Many thanks to Buck and Billy Ray for sharing that secret. And uh, I can't tell you how many different things I've tried and nothing worked. Looks like a brand new chain. And to tell you the truth, it's nearly new. Uh, I've only sharpened this once. I mean, I sharpened, hand sharpened it with a file a couple of times, but uh, I've only put it on my uh, electric uh, chainsaw sharpener once and I just barely kissed the front of it just because I want to make this chain last as long as possible because they are so expensive, which is why I put so much, you know, experimentation into trying to get all that junk off of it. I'm ready. Thanks for watching, y'all. Have a good, uh, what is tomorrow? Tomorrow's Monday. Have a good Monday.